So welcome back to the Kia Soul. Um, we're still in Vegas, we're still driving around, and these are our CES opinion pieces, uh, where we give you what we thought of the actual show, what we saw at the show, um, was it just marketing, or were the products that we're seeing genuinely great? And I think that the first thing we have to do there, if that is the, the question, Samsung showed us micro LED and the wall TV, Steve. They did. Was it vaporware, or are these products that are going to come? It was, was it a case of Samsung needed to have a story because they're the only manufacturer, they are, aren't they? They're, they're the only major manufacturer who do not have an OLED TV. They are. So they definitely need some kind of big up when it comes to TV. They needed some big story. So lo and behold, we get micro LED and we get the wall. So was it marketing or was it uh, an actual product that we, we can have in a few years? I think it was a bit of both. There was definitely an aspect of attention grabbing, headline grabbing, because by their own admission, 2017 was not a good year. Uh, very, I mean, the whole concept of QLED last year didn't go down that well with consumers, um, and everyone knew they were essentially in a holding pattern whilst they developed something genuinely new. Um, so they had to show it, which they did. They showed micro LED. This is what they're working on. This is their, their end game. They want to develop a, a, a self-emissive LED television that can deliver the high peak bright, the, the high uh, peak highlights uh, and the wide color gamut necessary for um, HDR. Also with absolute blacks and no issues with image retention and, and screen burn. So that, that's their end game. And the reason why they ultimately decided, I suppose, not to go with OLED, in uh, their own version of OLED. But it, 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 it obviously is not ready for prime time just yet. Um, so there won't be any micro LED in 2018. So there was a bit of a bit of marketing in the sense of showing what they can do, but also a bit of this is what's coming and it's, it's going to come. The problem is when, because if you ask them that question, they are pretty vague on the answer. Anywhere between one and nine years is a yeah. very, very vague answer in my opinion. Um, so yes, it's not vaporware. It's not something that's never going to turn up, but, but um, they do need to get it into, into uh, stores relatively quickly for it to be a genuine product. Um, now, it, in their defense, they were saying, look, we, 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 we can do deliver it in a number of different ways, and, and we also have to look at how you project you know, production methods, because we want to create something that, A, delivers what we want to deliver, but also delivers it in a cost-effective way, which is fair enough. Um, but, but, yeah, we need to sort of have some kind of genuine time frame for this product, because in the meantime, 2018 is going to be another year of LCD televisions. Yeah. Um, now, the LCD television that they were showing this year uh, at the show was very impressive. It's going to be very, very expensive. And essentially what it was doing was mimicking the performance of, a, of an OLED. So, um, uh, yes, th th this year is going to be a bit more of a holding year f for Samsung. I think for them to, they really do need to get this into market next year, I think, to be honest, if they can because uh, another year of nothing groundbreakingly new uh, is going to be a struggle for them to, uh, to uh, sort of maintain whilst everyone else is still piling on board OLED uh, with um, gay abandon and, and, uh, and OLED's delivering a, a genuinely impressive picture even though it is reaching the limits of its abilities in terms of HDR. My concern here, and it's a cynical approach and I apologise to Samsung if they take it the wrong way, it's not meant this way, but they bought the QLED technology and then a year later they launched an LCD TV, a uh, quantum dot LCD TV, and called it QLED. Um, you know, could they be accused of doing the same with micro LED? Is it a case of maybe in a year we see something called micro LED that isn't actually the technology that they're showing now? Well, actually, um, the TVs that are coming this year, the, the, the flagship, has got micro array. <laughs> So that's the, that's the name they're using for uh, yeah. for their uh, LCD TVs with a full array backlight. So they, I think they are definitely saving micro LED to be what it in, is, which is a, a self-emissive version of LED, uh, where every pixel is composed of little micro LEDs. Uh, hence, hence the name. Uh, and you know, and certainly what we saw of it was very impressive. Um, so you know, as, as a, an enthusiast, I, I can't wait for them to actually deliver it as a real product. Because I think it will look amazing, but um, 
there is only there's you know one to nine years is a, is a bit vague in terms of timelines for uh, for this product, and uh, I'd like to see a bit more a bit a bit more of a firm time scale for when we might actually see a, an actual product. So they're not going to tell us what the products are for this year until the spring. Yeah. Um, they're going to have a, a launch event. They're going to give us some models. They will just be QLEDs, LED TVs, LCD TVs. Um, will we see micro LED again mentioned again, or was it just a story for CES? I guess we could be cynical and say they could drop it uh, the same as what Sony did with C-LED, because Sony have a form for doing that in the past. Hopefully that's not the case. Hopefully it's going to be a case of they will continue to develop this technology. We'll see it in a in a few years. It'll be expensive to start with, but OLED was, was prohibitively yeah, expensive right. to start with. Um, so, fingers crossed, it's a new technology, it's something to be excited about, but be cautious. I, I know on AV forums, it's too easy for us enthusiasts to get excited, and then we get really, really disappointed when things don't work. I mean, I've been guilty of that in the past, especially with C-LED, we mentioned that. <laughs> that looked like really, really promising technology. It looked like it was going to be cheaper than OLED back then at that point to produce and, and to mass produce, and sadly it fell away and is now a professional product. No mention of it this year from Sony either. No. They're, they're looking at, at it for a consumer TV because they've now got OLED. They don't need it uh, at this moment in time because OLED can can do what we need at the minute for the the content that we're watching. Yeah. Uh, they don't need to de develop it any further. So, uh, was it marketing? Yes, absolutely. It was marketing. Is it a real product? Yes, because we've seen it. Yeah. We really liked it. Is it going to come to market? definitely going to come to market the question is fingers crossed it does when? and when and hopefully they can get it to the type of scale where it can be manufactured um, at a reasonable cost for the consumer that is the big thing that needs to happen if they can't get that then it's it's dead in the water so so anyway thanks very much for watching this video this has been another of our opinion pieces from CES 2018 where I've been driving and trying to talk at the same time and it's really quite difficult <laughs> to do. Not killing us. <laughs> um, but thank you for watching. Do like and subscribe and uh, also look on our YouTube page and on AV Forums for more of our opinion pieces from CES 2018. Thanks for watching. <laughs>